Hello woodworkers. Today I'm going to do a little different thing. This is some more salvage wood that I got from uh, the dumpster. Uh, recycled, reclaimed wood. Good stuff. Anyway, what I want to do, I'll take this finish off of here and then uh, our project for this week is going to be a heart box. And this is, uh, I guess you would call it 2 by 6 I don't know. How many of you have a scroll saw? That's an interesting little piece of equipment. Uh, I've had one for many, many years. I had a big uh, scroll saw for uh, quite a few years. Uh, and then I got to the point that I'm not doing that much scroll sawing anymore. I have uh, some back problems and it makes it so that I can't sit for very long uh, or stand for that matter either one. So I had an older uh, Delta scroll saw. It doesn't have as deep of a throat in it. Uh, it has a 16 inch instead of a 19 inch which I had in my my other scroll saw but uh, the idea is you don't always have to have the biggest and the best in order to do some really neat projects. Um, and the way it turned out, my daughter-in-law had a little kind of a cheapo Ryobi that she bought and it had pin end for the blades and whatnot and it was just I didn't think was working out for her so I gave her my big saw and she's just having a blast with it and if any of you want to look on on uh, Facebook and look for uh, Redneck Table Company my son and my daughter-in-law uh, do some really fantastic things on there they're mostly doing it just for the fun of it they're not trying to get rich off of it. They both have full-time daytime jobs, but on weekends and in the evening when they have time, uh, when they're not playing with the grandkids or something, they uh, they make things in their shop. And it's amazing, as far as I'm concerned, because they're taking scrap wood, old pallets, lumber that people has have given them, and things that you wouldn't expect are worth anything and they're making some beautiful pieces out of it. So look them up sometime. I think you'll really enjoy seeing some of the things that they do. It's called Redneck Table Company. Just like the old, you know, the old redneck jokes and stuff like that. Neither one of them are really rednecks, but that's what they call it. <laughs> All right, what I've done is traced my heart onto this uh, piece of one and a half uh, inch thick uh, salvage wood. And first of all, we're going to cut out the outside. Cut also a bottom and a top. It's all out of the same wood, so I think that it'll match up quite well when, uh, as far as the grain configuration on the thing. I'll sandwich them all together like this and tape them together with some masking tape and then we'll cut out the outside first. The first thing I'd like to point out is to put a brand new blade in before you start this project. It's going to uh, make your, your cut a lot smoother and you'll appreciate the fact that it's not going to burn the wood or anything like that. So let's see what we can do with this with this heart-shaped box. It's a pretty good sized chunk of wood that we're going to try to cut. So wish me luck. Here we go. Well, after a few false starts, we're going to cut out the inside now. And I've taken off the bottom and top because we don't want the, this inside cut done on them. 
So I'm going to thread my blade in to the hole that I drilled and we'll get this blade fastened in here securely. Well, there it is. Now what we're going to do is take the, the bottom and glue it onto the underside like so. Well, now we've got everything all glued up and dry or set up and ready to go. So I'm going to take the clamps off and we'll see how things turned out here. You see what we have? Uh oh, I didn't get the, the bottom put on the right direction. I decided to uh, put a insert on the back side of the, of the lid so it can just set down like so on the box and everything will be nice and secure and looks pretty good I believe. Uh, rather than have it swing off to the side like I was talking earlier why well, this is the way I ended up designing it. The way I did that was I took the leftovers from when I cut out the center of the of the heart and sliced off a piece of it on the bandsaw. You can do it uh, with a handsaw too if you need to. but that this is a perfect fit in there so it worked out really good for the piece that I glued on to the bottom and as you can see it's pretty slick. The way that I made this uh, the way I centered it is that I put a little glue on there and to hold it in place and then uh, I set this down on like so and I didn't take it put it all the way down because the glue would would stick to the the top of the box as well as get it all over the lid and then I kind of centered it as best I could and then I picked the thing up very carefully and then brad nailed it in place and got a pretty good fit did a little bit of sanding on it used over the edges here around the lid and that is what you see is what you get. Well that'll be it for this week. Uh, another week has gone by. Uh, we're all still here and alive and well. So what I'd recommend is that you go out and do something kind for someone and uh, the blessings will come back your way.